Morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you may be watching. I'm Kayla, and beside me is Jamilez, and welcome to Nightly News, brought to you by SRTV at the College of St. Rose. Thank you, Kayla, for that introduction. Now to get started with some news. I hope everyone is excited for the end of this week. On April 8th, Friday, we will be having our spring seminar for all, all thanks to the Student Events Board Club. This semester's theme will be Under the Sea. The event will start at 7 p.m. and end at 11 p.m. It's open to non samro students as each samro student attending the event is allowed to bring at least one outside guest to tag along with them. Tickets are only $20 for samro students and $25 for non samro students. Although ticket reservations are over, for those of you who are going and have reservations but have not paid for the ticket yet, you must do so as soon as possible as the day is quickly approaching. We wouldn't want anyone to lose their spot because you wouldn't want to miss out on all the fun. An interesting story hit the Chronicles newspaper last week. Patrick Sullivan, a music major student here at the College of St. Rose, gave us a little insight on the life of a working college student. Patrick Sullivan works as a host and server at Romano's Macaroni Grill located on Wolf Road. Working full shifts on the weekends, the junior states how the job helps with paying for his apartment and for other minor duties. He must manage his time carefully as any other co college student must do because he says he needs to study for classes, go to work, practice, with other music groups and needs to learn a new song weekly. Having a part-time job throughout college can for sure be difficult, but it's not impossible. This weekend, the College of St. Rose is collaborating with the Two Life organization with Patricia A. Fennell to present the Getting Your Life Back from Cancer event. Patricia Fennell is a licensed clinical social worker and an expert on chronic illness, and the Two Life is a New York-based breast cancer support organization. The event is aimed towards survivors or anyone living with cancer. It will offer strategies and solutions to cancer survivors who want to live fully during and beyond cancer treatment. The Getting Your Life Back from Cancer event is free and open to anyone throughout the Capital Region. The three-part program will take place in the Thelma P. Lally Building on April 9th, Saturday from 9 to 12 p.m., Tuesday evening on April 19th, and on May 10th. Pre-registration is required, which you can do on www.tulot.org or by contacting them at the number provided below. Any questions regarding the event or for more information, you may contact St. Rose's Director of Media Relations, which can be found on the St. Rose website. Earlier this week, we had a winter surprise as Monday received quite a few inches of snow. It wasn't a pleasant Monday morning as many across the capital region had trouble getting to work or school. Some places developed four or more inches of snow making for some pretty difficult driving conditions. The plows were working very early, but they didn't help too much as the snow was coming down pretty quickly. A massive pile up of about eight to 10 cars were all piled up between exit 16 and 17th northbound in northern Saratoga County. At least one van had flipped over to its side and two tractors had slid off the road and got stuck. One trooper, an ambulance, and firefighters were all on the scene, in which case calls for slower traffic. Now, here's Ted, which will take us to the weather forecast for this week. We had a rough start this week since Monday. We received the most snow we've had all season, which is hard to believe, considering we're in April. Well, here's this week's forecast for you. Monday, we received snow showers for most of the day with a low of 19 and a high of 32. Tuesday was mostly sunny with a low of 18 and a high of 35. We began to see some clouds appear on Wednesday. We had a low of 17 with a high of 40. Today, we took a small break from the cold weather, but we received showers. We had a high of 55 and a low of 35 for today. Tomorrow, it's going to be a low of 37 and a high of 46 with a few showers and a possibility of some snow as well. Saturday will be mostly cloudy with a chance of some more snow showers. We will have a low of 26 with a high of 38. Sunday is going to be mostly sunny with a low of 28 and a high of 35. And we will finish off the weekend with much cooler than expected weather for the month of April. Hopefully we get some much nicer weather for the upcoming weeks. Back to you. Thank you, Ted, for that forecast. Now for some sports. The Golden Knights softball team was de defeated by Dominican College Chargers in a five-inning game, losing by 11-2 on Tuesday the 23rd. The Chronicle states that St. Rose stormed back in the first inning with a double by Jaden Costello, but struggled in their second inning due to the fact that the Chargers drove in two runs. In the fifth and final inning, the Chargers had a runoff double hit by senior Shannon Horkap. Zoe Dubois, who scored one of the two runs for St. Rose this game, says she's still optimistic about the future games, quoting, I love softball so much that I would rather strike out four times than be anywhere else. I try to be that person for everyone. The St. Rose baseball team had a victory comeback in the past weekend as the team split a doubleheader with Chestnut Hill, winning 2-1 to one after losing their first game 1-0. to zero. Sources say senior Phil Zanowski threw seven innings, striking out six, and only allowed it only allowed two hits and was later replaced by Tyler Chalrose, who came in to strike at four. 
Starting catcher Joe Moore went down in the bottom of the second after injuring his ankle and was a major factor in the Golden Knights' defensive success, shooting out three runners in Friday's win. Despite their winning coach, Kyle Wilkins quotes, we didn't play well from an offensive standpoint, and we didn't make the adjustments we needed. He goes on saying, we out hit them, but unfortunately that doesn't always translate into wins. Thank you all for tuning into this week's Nightly News, and thanks for having I, Kayla, and my partner, Jamilas, as your news source. Remember to tune in next week's to next week's episode. Hope you all have a nice rest of the week.